Hello coders, welcome to Dave Byte School, day 6 session of Mastering Spring Boot. So in this session, we focusing on class diagram, okay. So in previous session, we done with uh, uh, our project setup, okay. So before uh, go into a like entity uh, uh, class coding, okay, we need to understand how many entities present in our system and what is the relationship between that entities, okay, like what is the association between that entities, okay. So for understanding this, uh, we use a class level diagram. So class level diagram give, give us a picture idea about a relation between the multiple entities. Okay. So I use a draw dot IO to draw my class level diagram. Uh, in this video, I'm not focusing on dedicate on how to create class level diagram and all those stuff. I just explain you the relation between a multiple entities which present in our project. Okay. If you need a dedicated video for this, please write down comment. Uh, we will uh, create a dedicated video in another playlist. Okay. So we have mainly three entities. One is user, then blocks, then a comments. Okay. So user have a variable like user ID, full name, like username means email ID. Okay. Then a password. Okay. Then we have a role like uh, uh, we have multiple role, like normal user then admin over there. After that we have created at or updated at uh, variable over there, uh, which is uh, used for uh, when uh, record is created and when a last record updated. Which just maintain a log of in a system. Okay. So I'm always prefer uh, uh, wrapper classes. Okay. Like it is because it is immutable and. Uh, uh, it's come with lots of feature like downcasting, upcasting, all those stuff. Okay. After that, like one user have multiple blocks. So that reason one to star over their relationship. So star represent that many. Okay. So one user have multiple blocks. Okay. So blocks contain like title, description, then publish. B publish is a bullion flag. So false is not false is means it, this is not yet published. Okay. After that user ID. Okay. User ID is nothing but foreign key. So we use object ID. So object ID is a form of uh, one JSON or object type, which is uh, like if you use object id in mongodb it give a unique a uh, string okay uh, which is act as a primary key so here we use that primary key as a foreign key and uh, one block have multiple comments so comment contain a title a user id like one block uh, have a multiple uh, comments so that reason like uh, blog id go as a foreign key and after that uh, like one user write multiple comments so that reason we use a user id over there as a foreign key to maintain a one to many relationship okay yeah that's it uh, from uh, today's video if you have any question please uh, write down a comment okay and uh, please like uh, the video uh, and uh, share with your uh, friends and colleagues who have same tech stack and if you not yet subscribe our channel please subscribe that because in future we plan to launch lots of uh, playlists on other tech stack okay uh, yeah that's it thank you so much